Ruigi Villasenio, the founder of Rude. What an absolute come up. From last year, or I don't know what year that was, from being accused of essentially scamming his own company, stealing funds from his own company to fund his lavish lifestyle of Hermes bags and private jets and, you know, um, shoes with no heels or shoes with no backs and, you know, loafers and with no socks and shiny bits of jewelry and, you know, random nondescript um, Caucasian women lying on hampers and lounge chairs and shit. That lifestyle that he posts on Instagram that people love to see and shit, right? Uh, the, the, the 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 life of a suave um you know um playboy renaissance man type of thing his former partner in rude alleged that he was basically living that way because he was siphoning off the funds from the company to do so so i think his ex-founder ex-partner co-founder of the brand ended up suing him i'm not too sure what the details are of that case at the moment i'm not sure if they settled or anything but i remember that being a big story that i covered on the podcast at one time well now look now look at the come up now look at the come up he still got rude he's still presenting at fashion weeks he's still you know paid up still you know doing his clothes posting all the um you know motivational luxurious living clips on twitter and instagram and now he's got a new gig a pretty sick gig this is courtesy of como um press release it says Rigi with senior steps in as a chief brand officer for como 907 1907 sorry expanding the club's influence beyond football so as you know um como is the club that's recently promoted to Serie A in italy um their football club and villa senior Rigi will be acting as a chief brand officer creative director quote-unquote of the football club absolutely incredible um especially when you consider again all the you know allegations about him scamming and shit so it says as follows Rigi Villasenor, the creative director and founder of globally recognized luxury streetwear brand Rude, has officially been named as chief brand officer of Como 1907 Football Club. Its growing portfolio of fashion, consumer goods, and travel businesses. Villasenor's task: disrupt the traditional landscapes and bring in innovative, bold, um, sorry, bring in bold innovation to the Como brand, not only in football but across fashion, lifestyle, and culture. The vision is to create a global powerhouse that transcends sports, shaping trends in fashion hospitality and consumer goods and redefining how a brand um, rooted in a unique location of lake como can influence multiple industries fucking sick and i've never actually heard of somebody being a creative director of a football club it makes a lot of sense especially a brand especially a club like like um like como being where it's at and stuff uh, you would imagine a lot of it is kind of aspirational worth you know based kind of um branding itself and just the the landscape the scenery and everything about that place would be amazing but could you imagine how cool it would be to be designing like i don't know training kits merch for the club um souvenirs um little trinkets that they sell in the gift shop and other bits and bobs and maybe just the entire branding of the club itself like you know designing you know the wrap around the private jets the seat designs um the vip lounges <coughs> all these type of things could be so 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 cool like i would probably if i was a designer i would take being the creative director of a football club this is a far interesting and far more challenging you know thing to do than being a creative director of a brand you, can you kind of know where to go with that with the store with the brand itself activations look books bloody blah, blah collaborations but i think with a football club trying to kind of redefine what that looks like and you know put a different spin on it maybe there's a separation between sports performance design and you know lux like, like casual streetwear quote-unquote design Maybe there's an opportunity where you get to design that whole collection of the quote-unquote casual wear. Maybe you present it during Petty. You present it during fucking Paris Fashion Week, whatever. That would be such a cool way to kind of have an element for it. Especially nowadays where, you know, jerseys, especially football club jerseys, um, have become such a, you know, big trend. You can, you can only see, you know, there's no limit to the possibilities of having different versions, different collaborations, different styles, you know, all kind of, um, with the kind of combo branding as well. I fucking love it. It continues. 
Known for his unique ability to merge streetwear and high-end design, Vincent Yeo will bring a fresh perspective to the club, which is currently experiencing a renaissance. As Como 1907 returns to Serie A for the first time in 21 years, the club is also becoming a cultural hotspot, with celebrities, tastemakers and regularly attending matches as the Lakefront Stadium, which boasts one of the most scenic settings in world football. Yeah, the, the stadium itself is fucking gorgeous, isn't it? Let's see it. Let's see Como 1907 Stadium. It legitimately looks over the lake and shit. It's fucking gorgeous. So, can you just imagine the kind of things that they're going to be able to do? Flying in certain celebrities, certain activations, certain, you know, events, concerts, whatever they could do. Like, look at that. Look at how gorgeous that shit looks. That is crazy. People can literally, like, park their boat and walk straight into the stadium. Or maybe take a helicopter in as well. That's fucking sick. That is so fucking beautiful where it's at like absolutely gorgeous so yeah so big up um what you call it Rigi. that looks that that's a fucking great fucking gig you cannot lie about that one um so it continues here um it says here his quote i've always been drawn to places that have such a rich sense of history and style and late comments is exactly that fuck off you've always been drawn to places where very rich people hang out you know rigi has got that kind of he's got those type of dudes and he loves hanging around people like who have got pee that gets him going, which is nice as well, that kind of lifestyle, being around like actually legitimately wealthy people, people whose net worth is like in the, you know, many, many, many billions. So what better place to be around those type of people than somewhere like Lake Como? Since my first visit here in 20, see, he's been going to Lake Como since 2016. I can't even pronounce it. I don't even know what it fucking looks, I don't even know what, you know what I mean, I don't even know where it is on the map. This nigga has been going there since 2016. I found inspiration in his beauty and now I'm excited to help shape the future of Como 1970, uh, 1907, blending fashion, football and lifestyle in a way that feels effortless. As Chief Brand Officer, Riga Villasenor will lead the development of the multiple fashion lines and products, leveraging the club and the distinctive allure of Lake Como region. His role encompasses overseeing the creative direction and brand strategy of a range of consumer goods. Lifestyle ventures help it to position Como as more than just a sports club, but as a global destination for fashion, culture, and hospitality. Melissa Neal's expertise will unify the club's identity across various sectors, shaping its ev ev evolution into a holistic lifestyle brand. Whilst they're going to have retreats, they might have nightclubs, you're assuming? They might have a hotel. He might be in, in charge of design, redesigning the hotel, interior right bathrobes and shit towels this is a sick gig honestly i'll take this take i'll take being the fucking chief brand officer of fucking man united or fucking crystal palace over you know designing for louis vuitton and shit like honestly this is such an interesting design or such an interesting challenge um to approach design wise because it touches on so many different things that you can kind of get into from architecture to interior design landscaping like so many things you can do based you know underneath that kind of umbrella of working for a football club um the first taste of his would be unveiled at rude spring 2025 show in the villa de este ah that's where it comes in with the rude see this is where having your own brand helps doing your own thing because that's what they want him for they saw what he did at rude they saw what he does at rude and they want a bit of that magic sprinkled on what they're doing so he's going to show some of the work at rude as well not at their own show so where the co-branded gear like Lake like, like Lago de Como rugby tops and ball caps give a preview of what's to come. This is more than just a slapping a logo on a jersey. We're building a lifestyle, something bigger, he adds. Um Mirwan Suruasu, president of nineteen of Como nineteen oh seven, official representative of the ownership group, commended or commented sorry and said we're excited to see how the leadership will shape the future for Como the global stage our vision is to elevate Como into a brand that inspires influences across industries and we are excited to work with Ruigi as the clubs reach the global cool um, so yeah really really amazing stuff and obviously it's been covered in WWD as well same sort of thing as you can see here and it also says he's got a minority he's going to be a minority owner too so he's not only a he's not only a chief brand officer he's also a minority owner of a club I'm not sure if that's part of the deal or well, something he re he negotiated himself, but that's fucking sick. Again, imagine this guy was getting sued by his former partner of Rude for stealing company funds. Somehow bounced back like nothing happened. I think the first show that he did actually after the scandal, he played what's that song? He played some Tupac song, like something I forgot the title. 
like one of those songs where it's like guess who's back you know what i mean like you can't keep it or whatever as the, as the theme song for the show that's fucking hilarious so it shows that he, you know he, he can take him don't take himself too seriously but yeah man like that guy that's suing him must be spitting feathers he must be so pissed like <laughs> the guy just keeps on winning he keeps on fucking winning and he's also going to be a co-owner in the football club can you imagine so here's some of the stuff already um we got here some pieces rude and como 1907 pieces for the rude spring 2025 collection you've got some stuff already there that's been influenced i guess by hanging out over there in lake como and i guess a lot of this stuff as well it's not for me this type of fashion this type of style but i guess once you go to those type of places you go to monaco's you go to the lake como's you see people who wear this sort of stuff it also has to make sense that particular style of clothing you know because maybe that rugby top i'd wear Maybe that jacket I'd wear, but the rest of it is like, you know, especially the style of it. It's like, huh, people are actually wearing rain jackets with no shirt underneath. But you go there and you find out, yes, of course they are. Because they jump out of the sea. They want to put something on to go to a restaurant to eat and shit. Some comfy trousers, always wearing flip flops. So, yeah, I'm curious to see how this evolves and develops as time goes on. Um, I think you also may have posted something actually on his Twitter about it too that I want to check as well regarding the announcement. But it's a really cool, really cool gig by the sounds of it. It seems like a really fucking cool gig. He's even got, he's even updated his um, um bio on Twitter. Founder of Rude, founder of ROU by Zara and CBO slash Cohen of Como Football. That's a fucking flex. I'm not going to lie. That is a fucking flex. So let's see what he's posting. Anything that we've seen here? I stay away from people who fake cry or cry with no tears. Da 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 some updates got to know the rules in order to break them what's the updates have we got here co-owner and cbo he says there's a picture of him doing a halloween outfit as car i'm guessing kind of lame but hey i get it and then there's a post here that probably you know says everything we need to say here irl v url so even though you know we've been speaking a lot about you know about the fucking lawsuit and shit which is url in the real world it seems like businesses just are falling over themselves to work with him from zara to como they all want a piece of ruigi so let's see how it develops and it evolves um for me personally i have to be honest and say previous collections or recent collections sorry i've not really been that impressed man i feel like he's kind of lost his way with rude it kind of feels a little bit uninspired if anything i actually liked i was pop unpopular opinion but i was actually a bigger fan of the stuff i saw him design at bali or bali however you pronounce the fucking brand as opposed to the stuff he's doing recently at Rude. I've not liked it in the slightest. Some of the baseball jackets have been pretty cool. Um, you know, but his outerwear is always pretty strong. But I think collections overall, it feels like they all kind of blend into one. They're all very forgettable. Not a lot of standout pieces that really kind of, you know, resonate that you're going to be thinking about for a while. Loads of recycled ideas, I feel like. Nothing really fresh or new. So it's been pretty disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Recently, I haven't felt like he's been really pushing himself with the rude as you know maybe he's got a bit comfortable the brand probably still does bits anyway you can imagine i don't really i don't think i've seen a lot of people in my maybe maybe when you go into central London, you don't really see a lot of people outdoors really wearing rude as much as you did prior like, i don't really see it as much but i'm, I'm sure there are people out there who still love that shit but for me it doesn't hit as much as it did in the past i've got to be honest it really doesn't hey <laughs> It kind of looks like the same as sorry as any other brand that you see out there. A lot of the same silhouettes and styles and shit. You know, again, some of the jackets I really like. I think the I think he does a really good varsity jacket. I think something that you could always say you're always gonna get with Rude. You're gonna get a good varsity jacket, and he kills it with varsity designs. Always really good. Best cut. <laughs> sorry, Jesus Christ, my allergies are throwing up again. The cuts on the jackets are always really good, but the rest of it I'm not really too fond on. Um, some of the trousers and the pants are decent enough, but I'm not really too sure how much I like the motorcycle, de baggy denim type of look. The jerseys are a little bit lame, I'm not going to lie. Some of the tracksuits are okay for the sake of it. The styling is a little bit all over the place. Like, you know, it, it feels like there's this... I always, I, whenever I look at Rude, I feel like there's too much fabric, if that makes any sense. I just feel like there's too much fabric. There's too much stuff. You know, it, things need to be a bit more simplified, maybe tucked in, tightened, maybe a little bit flatter. I don't know. Just, it always looks a bit frumpy and full of material. I don't really like it. It's never been for me to be. If anything, if anything, if anything, which is weird, I feel like Rigi himself dresses better 
than he designs. I think his own personal style is way more interesting than his actual designs. I swear it. I think the designs of his fashion collections is very, very, you know, meh, mediocre for me. But I feel like his personal style, I'm not really too mad at. But the clothes themselves, not the greatest. There's a few stuff on here that's already, I can see is part of that, um, him being the CBO of the football club. I can see already with the, what you call it? With some of the stuff on there, with this Lago, this La Lago logo, however you pronounce it, Como 27. I see some of the stuff is featured on there, like some of the pants and the rugby tops and shit. But overall, like, you know, this stuff is like, like look at look, look number nine. That's that's something that you can see in like Boho Men or something, or like in Zara. That looks like straight out of the high street. That look there with the green jersey and the basketball shorts. Like, that is so fucking bad. Even look number eight. Like, what is that? Like, that jacket with those pants, with those boots. Or those shoes, like, you know, you got these, what are these, like, you got, you got, like, leather, leather shorts, like, baggy, extra long leather shorts with, like, a baggy black vest with white piping. Nah, not for me, bro. Not for me. Not for me in the slightest. I can't be doing that. Not for me in the slightest. I cannot be doing that. So, yeah. Um, congratulations to him amazing gig like i said previously amazing 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 gig maybe the best one i've seen someone from a streetwear adjacent brand get recently i think this is way more of an interesting design proposition to kind of tackle um, probably super exciting opportunity to get your teeth stuck into and far more interesting than working at bali for instance you know what i mean well, where was he i think he was in switzerland somewhere right maybe not the nicest corner space to hang out maybe a bit boring at least here you can have your fun be around footballers and shit that's way way funner as well you know what i mean imagine like going to training watching watching training sessions talking to some of the young players coaches and shit it's gonna be way more fun doing this than what it was working for bali i'd imagine so congratulations to rigi congratulations to him absolutely amazing gig can't wait to see how it develops for him can't wait to see how it develops for him